Welcome everybody to your new moon in May reading. This is just a short intro. If you would like to go straight to your reading, please follow the timestamps listed in the description box below. The new moon in May is going to be happening on the 7th or the 8th of the month, depending where in the world you are. And the new moon period can be felt for at least a week to two weeks after the new moon appears. And as with all new moons, there's this energy of renewal, a blank canvas, unlimited potential, bringing about new beginnings. And we are able now to plan to bring in what we want to see happen in our lives and make changes. This particular new moon is going to be in Taurus. And when the new moon is in Taurus, it's all about our material possessions, our finances, our career, our job, and our abundance. So it's a very good time to really take a moment and see what is of great value to us over this time. So let's go ahead now and see what the new moon has in store for you. Welcome Cancer to your May New Moon reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you over this period. Cancer, I'm going to start off by pulling all your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Cancer, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first message you have is the new moon in Capricorn energy, your hard work is paying off. And Cancer, this is exceptionally positive because it tells us wherever you have been putting all your efforts, all your intentions, all your focus, where you might have been spending hours and days working, where you have really put in an incredible amount of effort, you are going to see something coming through. And this, my dear Cancer, could be in a situation at work. It could be in a relationship. Once we pull the tarot, we will see what that's about. You then have number 23, Peace. And this too is very nice to see because Cancer, when we have the peace energy coming in, it tells us there's going to be this energy of ease and harmony coming in in an area that this was lacking previously. And finally, we have the new moon in Libra energy. A new romantic cycle begins. Now, the new moon in Libra is all about possibility of romance and new relationships. And because this is a collective reading, my dear Cancers, we are going to look at this as the possibility of a very significant relationship. If romance is of utmost importance to you, then it will come through there. This could be a friendship. This could be getting on wonderfully with a new boss or your existing boss, with a colleague, with a family member. We will see what that is all about. Cancer, we are going to start over here with your hard work is paying off and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this energy of your hard work is paying off is for Cancer, please. And we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, this is wonderful to see. You are presenting under this energy as Queen of Pentacles. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Pentacles we are speaking about. And as you see here, our Queen of Pentacles is sitting in a very lush garden. She's on an ornate throne and she's just gently holding her pentacle, glancing down at it. Her abundance and her success is part of her. The Queen of Pentacles energy is somebody who has reached a place in her life 
where her hard work and her efforts have paid off. She is now able to see the fruits of her labor. As you see here, we've got this little rabbit. And when we get the little rabbit appearing in the tarot, it tells us this is a very lucky time for you. Whatever this is for you, my dear Cancers. And this will be, of course, very different for everybody. It could be the energy of working on a big project at work and putting in so much effort. What you should see over the new moon period, that this project will come to a close and you're going to get recognized and commended for your work. If this is a new business, my dear Cancers, and you have been slogging away, trying to get it off the ground, working on it seven days a week, over the new moon period, you're going to get a very particular sign that there is potential here. People are interested in your product and service and there could even be the first sale. Cancer, this could be a relationship. If you have been working incredibly hard at a particular relationship, whether it is with your significant other, whether it is with a family member, a friend, a boss, a business partner, we see that your hard work is going to pay off in a way that you are going to see big results. Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful energy to see here. Because as this new moon is in Taurus, and because your abundance and your finances are being highlighted, with these two energies coming out, my dearest Cancers, you can expect an incredible result. Ten of Pentacles is the happily ever after card when it comes to our abundance and whatever that means to you. Here we are seeing it with the home and the family, but Cancer, everybody's abundance, finances and money is very personal and will come through very differently. So take this in an area that resonates with you. But my dear Cancers, with Ten of Pentacles coming out, this new moon, you should see a very big and positive movement forward that whatever you have put your time and effort into is now paying off and you're starting to already see things coming in and manifesting. So this is an incredibly positive message coming through. Let's move on now and see what peace is all about for you. So we just want to see now what this peace energy is for Cancer, please. What is this peace energy for Cancer? And we've got the chariot. And we've got the page of swords. Now Cancer, with page of swords coming in here, if at the moment you are having any kind of dispute with anybody, this could be something at work, something within the family, your significant other, but Page of Swords tells me there could be either this passive aggressive energy going on, or there could be an argument and you're not speaking to somebody. There just could be a lot of unsaid things going on and there's this weird energy between you and somebody else. Cancer, over this new moon period, we see you coming through using our chariot energy, which is your card. And what it tells me is that you are going to drive this process. You're going to take initiative. You're going to approach this person and it's the energy of, right, something's going on here. Whatever is going on here, we need to sit down, we need to talk about it, and we need to clear the air. And with the chariot, it tells me that you, my dear Cancers, are the driving force here. Whoever this might be for you, I feel their behavior could be quite immature, and that the way that they argue and the way that they present themselves could be very childlike Cancer. And there might be a lot of ego and you did this and you said this. They are really feeling incredibly sorry for themselves. Cancer, because it is sitting under peace, I have no doubt that you are going to come in with the energy of right. 
you say your piece and I will not interrupt and then I will speak my point of view and you will not interrupt and then we will go forward and try and find our way forward. With peace coming out on top of this, my dearest Cancers, I have no doubt that in your hands this is going to reach an amicable outcome. Now let us move on and see what this new romantic cycle begins is all about and I'm going to get your clarifiers. Right, let us see what this is for Cancer please. And we have the Empress and the Magician. My gosh, my dear Cancers, this is wonderful. Cancer, what I am seeing here for you is that whatever you have been wishing, praying, meditating on in terms of this particular relationship. Remember what I said? This is going to come through in a particular relationship that is of utmost importance to you. So it could be the energy, my dear Cancers, of wanting to get on better with your boss, on connecting with a colleague at work, of finding the perfect business partner. And it could very well relate to this peace energy. Maybe it is making peace and reconciling with whoever this is. But whatever it is, my dearest Cancerians, whatever you have put up out there, we see now over this new moon period, you are able to bring it down and manifest something on the physical plane. So it tells us you have great possibility now of bringing into your world this particular person. And my dear Cancers, you are coming through here presenting as the Empress. So here under the hard work, we saw you as Queen of Pentacles. Here under a new romantic cycle, we see you as the Empress. Once again, it does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the Empress I am speaking about. And as you can see, our Empress is looking on at all the other energies. She too is sitting in a beautiful, lush landscape. Her cornucopia is flowing over. Cancers, something is coming through where you have this wonderful energy of abundance and what that particularly means to you over this new moon period. You, my dear Cancers, are going to find yourself now in a position where I feel a lot of elements of your life are starting to fit into place. This abundance energy, I think, is going to incorporate and flow over into many other areas. Because the Empress is this energy of abundance and fertility, I feel now you have this wonderful, empowered energy of feeling my work is paying off and now I can look and grow other areas of my life. This could be now that you want to move to a better area or a better apartment. It could be now that you're feeling this energy overflowing. You can plan a trip or you want to start a new course. You're taking this energy on internally as well, Cancer. And you're going to want to expand your horizons, meet new people, do new things. There is a wonderful expansive energy coming through here. This new moon, my dearest Cancerians, should be incredibly positive for you. Let us move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you. So we want to see now what Cancer's angels would like to share with them, please. And you have, if you believe... My dearest Cancers, your angels want you to know that whatever is going on and that whatever is happening as you move through this new moon period, keep that deep belief alive. Believe in your prosperity. Believe that the hard work you are doing is not in vain. You will see results and you will see your pentacles growing and expanding. 
Believe, my dear Cancerians, that if you find yourself in challenging positions with certain people in your life, hold your strong Cancerian strength. Guide it in your way, because with your Cancerian heart, you will get the outcome you want. And my dearest Cancerians, hold on to that belief, because what we are seeing here with Empress and the Magician coming out, there is something incredibly wonderful that is going to manifest for you over this period. Something that is of great significance to you. So my dear Cancerians, you have a lot to look forward to over this new moon period. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful and meaningful new moon period and I'm sending you all so much love.